Turn down for what? What? What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Unoriginal Craft. This is really bugging me how these fence, this fence thing is not complete. Like, seriously, it bugs me a lot. But not enough for me to bring fences here. <laughs> uh, well, I would if I remember to, but I have forgotten. I guess someone just ran out and just said, ah, screw it, good enough. I wonder if it would look cool if we had fences here, too. Anyways, in the last episode, we continued to build my basement after I was told I was pranked, and then it turned out to be an awesome prank, but then it turned out to be, like, it was more of a gift than a prank, so I was like, oh, well then, this is going to make a prank episode, since the prank was kind of over within the first five minutes of the episode. Um, in this episode, I um, plan to do something, what's this? Hmm, I plan to do something special. Creeper hole blast! Someone did fix you. God dang it. What the heck is this? Who's building the Great Wall of China? Hello? Okay, it ends there. Where does it go? Uh, oh! Who did this? Where does this go? That's cool. I mean, kind of. Does it lead anywhere? <laughs> well, I'm already going on a tangent here. That guy needs to be leveled eventually by somebody that it might end up being me. It just kind of ends. It appears so. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's some kind of village expansion. What about this? What about the Great Wall of Unoriginal Craft? Where does this go? Is this to defend from all the creepers? Did someone build this to stop uh, baddies from getting in or something? It kind of looks like it, to be honest, judging by the fact that you can't get back in once you fall through. You know, lighting up the place also kind of works. <laughs> oh, they could totally get in that way. You have failed, placer of the Great Wall of Unoriginal Craft. You have failed me. Uh, why am I not getting sounds? Oh, it's very quiet. Let's turn it up to 30. Does it keep going? Is that it? What? Holy! Where does it go? Is that anything? Doesn't look like it. There's a cheap... A sheep just chilling? I'll, I'll combine the words cheap and sheep and it came out as cheap. Where does this go? This doesn't look like a wall to prevent mobs anymore. What's this? Oh no! I've made a terrible mistake! Is there a reason this is wall off? What's through? Oh, well, it was an evil skeleton. I'm assuming this was probably done when the server just began. What the heck? Oh, that's the beacon. I was like, who the heck built a street tower up into the sky? But no, it's, that's the beacon. Right. Um. Let's go this way. Is that it? It just ends? Uh, okay, well, that was an adventure. <laughs> I like little things like that, kind of. I mean, it, it was kind of fun to go on. A little adventure. Anyways, in this episode, I'm going to start off, and there's clay I want it, but at the same time, I can't be bothered to do it right now because I have other matters at hand. I want to find a place where I could start to build, um, hopefully, a community project where everyone will help out, maybe. <laughs> uh, and that is the Coliseum. I really want to build a Coliseum. I want to make it big. Bigger than your mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I want to make it huge. And by huge, I mean, I, I don't even really know how big I want it. Pretty big. Ooh. That's an unexplored cave. I'm surprised it's an unexplored cave so close to spawn still. Uh, but yeah, I want a Coliseum. And then what my, my plan is, I haven't actually discussed this build that I, I have wanted to do. My plan is, maybe like every month, we'll have like a tournament, like let's say, it'll be, we'll draw names from a hat, and let's say it'll be me versus Mr. Green Hippo, and then Kenny versus, um, Jay, and then like they'll fight each other, what the heck is that? And then like the winner of like me versus Mr. Green Hippo will fight the winner of Kenny versus Jay, and, except like on a bigger scale where everyone on the server takes part. What the heck is this? What is this? I made a wooden flower. You likey? Jude the dude. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh! Wait. Is this the thing I built a long time ago? No. No, it can't be. Okay, never mind. Was, this the, was that even on the server? 
Wait, does this go all the way down, or does it just stop here? Because if it... I could have sworn at some point in the server I built... No, this does not look familiar. I built a little shack. Actually, no, that would have been on Sal's craft. Never mind, that was a lot longer than this. That was, like, years ago. <laughs> I knew that sounded a bit weird. So Judah came here, I guess, and left seven diamonds. Judah, your diamonds are still here. I'm not touching them. Haha. <laughs> I'm totally gonna steal them off screen. Just kidding, I'm not. A wooden flower. There's X's. Weird. Whoa, that frame rate frame rate lag. Alright, um This is not exactly where I want it to go. Which way's towards spawn? It appears to be this way. Spawn is around zero zero. It's not called oh, there it's right there, okay. Well, I don't wanna destroy Judah's thing. His thing, my bob, his wooden flower. Ah, here we go. So initially, there's a giant field behind um, the spawn town where I was thinking about building a giant coliseum. And then Mr. Green Hippo came along. And oh, Mr. Green Hippo. He made this his massive freaking tree, f tree field. Like, this was all planes at some point. And then Mr. Green Hippo transferred it into his giant tree farm where he has millions of trees. I think this was it anyways. I'm assuming it is. He did give me permission, however, to burn it all down. Yeah, this does, none of this really looks natural. And he told me I could chop it all down and all that. So, I'm going to do just that. Wait, I don't want to make all of these. We'll make four and see where that gets me. This is going to be fun and probably crash my computer. I definitely want those back. I'll take them both. Thank you. Um, hmm. This is probably going to break the server, maybe. I kind of really hope not, actually. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to be even big enough. What does this say? Hippos Forestry Forest. And my phone just went off. Crap, I'm going to turn that off right now. God dang Clash of Clans. No, I was wrong. That's Boom Beach telling me it is prepared. I've been playing way too many of these freaking um, games like that lately. All right, let's just start burning this crap down. <laughs> Forest fire. I should have definitely brought a bucket of water, actually. Yep, yeah, mostly because of this crap. Oh, no, I hear a creeper. That's bad. Where? Hey! <laughs> that was a blind shot. I just closed my eyes because I was sneezing. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's all burning down. Meh, 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 meh. Meh, 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 meh. I actually could probably use some of this wood, but, you know, that's, I'm not going to bother because I just want to burn it all down. There's a time for farming, and there's a time for having fun. Right now, it's time to have fun. And it's also time to... Sorry. You go pop in my head when I said, it's time to... Whoa! How's that working? Okay. Okay, it's happening again. <laughs> I'm also surprised it hasn't broke yet. Flint and Steel is one of those tools where I feel like they lost for- Oh, my sounds are gone. At least the sound for breaking the tool is gone. Oh no, I'm on fire. My pants. My pants. My pants are on fire. I probably should not be in this freaking field of fire. We don't need no water. Let the Chris burn. Burn, motherfucker. Burn. That's an actual song. That's a Bloodhound Gang. You don't know them, you say? You look them up right now. The Bloodhound Gang is amazing. Yay! I'm actually clearing this forest pretty freaking quickly. So, I almost feel like I should have gotten Mr. Green Hippo on the server with me to do this. Actually, that's a great idea! Why did I do that? Oh, man. I could have had an episode with... Oh, man. I wanted to collaborate for people with an episode, too, because I haven't really done that since, like, the first episode. The second one's broken. But I guess that's not happening. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to collaborate, I guess. I mean, I don't really feel like stopping and then recording at a different time. Because I'm just having too much fun. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't love to just burn all this crap down? Name one person. You, you say. Well, then. You must hate having... F Whoa. That leg. Oh, my good lord. Look at it. It's all beautiful. The nothingness is beautiful. There we go. This looks like how it used to look now. We need more space, though. Oh, I'm glad I brought torches with me, although it's not going to be enough. But, you know, I'm so glad I brought torches with me. Because all the mobs are going to spawn. I figured we would lit this up, but I guess not. Well, we'll leave some trees there, like that tree, for example. This tree must die, though. Man, I'm going to have trouble with mobs. Ah, oh. You know, I 
wasn't gonna even bring torches, but I was like, you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna bring torches. Cause you know, this is for his, it's his logging area. So I'm like, well, he's clearly had to light it up. Otherwise, mobs would be spawning all over the place, right? But alas, he did no such thing. How dare you, Mr. Green Hippo? How dare you make things silly and convenient for me? I should probably eat, cause otherwise that's gonna bite me in the butt. Like a freaking creeper is gonna come behind me and explode me. Although, now that I have enchanted my armor. That's actually starting to break. Um, that might be more difficult for a creeper to do. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> uh, part of me feels like I should definitely finish my other projects before moving on to this one. Like, for example, my house, my skeleton spawner. And that's really it, I guess. And, yep, yeah, those are not all the torches I brought, thankfully. Oh, man. I have definitely got the feeling a creeper is about to blow me up. Mm-hmm, it's gonna happen. And it didn't. What's this? Well, there's another rack. I knew I wasn't crazy. Well, maybe I shouldn't say not crazy, because let's face it, I'm kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so. In the last episode, I... Dude, seriously, I tried to... Dude! Why don't you want to light a fire? There we go. In the last episode, I discussed me wanting to tell a story about how I got blamed for one of my friends in elementary school for stealing a little girl's popcorn. Now that's a really strange story to want to tell and I don't know why that story popped my head at the end of that episode but it did and I always did kind of want to make an original craft kind of like a uh, a vlog almost like a diary about my life almost that kind of thing because I, I think that's important. My mom once told me um, I should she told me and my sister both actually that we should definitely Make a recording, not like for the internet or anything, but just for yourself, of just talking about memories, because one day, you know, you're going to forget about them. I mean, your mind has a certain limit of what it remembers and what it doesn't, so you should... Whoa. Oh, I guess Skellington shooting me. Ah, I hear you now, Skellington. But yeah, so my mom was like, yeah, you should make a... F you should make, like, the occasional... And this was even before I did YouTube, by the way, so she wasn't even saying this just because, you know, YouTubes and such. Oh, really, Rain? Really? No! No! This is not okay! I might as well use this time to light up the fields. Because, you know, that's also, that's like really important as well. And I'm not entirely sure how much room I'm going to need. Probably quite a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... You forget things, so it's a, it can be important to either like, you know, write it down, talk to yourself about them in video form, because, you know, you're going to forget about that stuff maybe one day. I mean, you know, you're not going to forget every memory from, like, your childhood or something. But, I mean, you're going to forget a lot of them. So, one of the memories that I hold dear to my heart, not really, because it was really stupid, um, was, the, was the time um, <laughs> me and my friend were kind of stealing popcorn. Although it was my friend and pretty much just me watching. Why am I trying to light this on fire? There's n seriously no point. And that story begins with, in my elementary school, this would have been grade one, two, something like that. Uh, my school had a popcorn day. Every month or two weeks or something like that, my school would sell popcorn for like $2 a bag or something like that. I'm, I don't even remember how much was in a bag or something. I mean, my friend that I'm not going to name, that's name is Jason, <laughs> uh, we didn't get popcorn that day. Actually, I don't think I even liked popcorn. That's right, I did even like popcorn at the time. So, I didn't even participate in this. I just kind of watched because, you know, I didn't need popcorn. I need to find a bed to sleep in. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, neither of us had money for popcorn. Me, obviously, because I didn't like it. But he didn't have money for popcorn. And so we had the great idea of, hey, let's just steal someone else's popcorn. And, um, I think what it was... We d I remember doing this twice to people. We would go up to people, we'd be like, Hey, can we have a handful of your popcorn? And, you know, we're, we're kids, so we're all cynical and mean about it, so everyone's just like, Yeah, sure! Here, have a handful of my popcorn! And then we would take the popcorn and run with it! Or he would, really, and I would just kind of follow. I don't remember having any first-hand thing about this. And so we did that once. And then, like, it worked out swell. He ate it, and I just kind of watched because, you know, I didn't like popcorn. I don't know how many times I have to mention I don't like popcorn, but I don't like—I didn't like popcorn at the time. 
And, um, next up we go up to a little girl. Well, I say little, but I mean she was our age. And then we did the same thing! We stole our popcorn! Yay! Evil children that suck a lot! And... Ten minutes passed. This was at lunch hour, I remember. Dude, did that fire go out? No, it didn't. Yeah, so like ten minutes pass. And all of a sudden we see the same little girl standing next to the lunch teacher that's outside, like, monitoring... Um, the children and watching them play and looking for trouble, etc, etc. And then we both see that the little girl was standing with the lunch lady. And, um... Our first thought was, oh crap, she's telling on us, we have to get away! And then, I don't remember who, but it was one of our ideas to be like, no, we shouldn't do that. We should go up there and clear our name by saying, we didn't steal the popcorn. And I mean, that's the stupidest thing ever, I know, right? It, it really is the stupidest thing ever. It's like, really? I didn't steal the popcorn? Because that clears your name, right? And so we actually did that. Um, I remember me and Jason both walked up to the lunch teacher, and then Jason said, I wasn't really talkative as a child. I was more of like the listener. Even in fact, I still kind of am. I talk a lot more than I used to. I'm a lot less shy than I used to be as a child. But yeah, so Jason went up to the lunch lady. And then I remember it the exact way he said it. He was like, I didn't steal the little girl's popcorn. <laughs> like just the way, like we were just, I should have grabbed some blocks to like bring with, whoa, that leg though. I should have brought some blocks to bring with me. So I could actually get these pieces of wood that are high in the sky. But yeah, so he like made this long trek to the teacher. That was actually like 20 seconds or so. And then we walked up to her and we were like, We didn't steal the little girl's popcorn. And the lunch lady's response to that was, Aha! A confession! And so, you know, she obviously didn't fall for that. Because honestly, if she did fall for that, that would just be an entirely different story of me laughing about how stupid she is. <laughs> uh, ooh, already out of flint and steel. But yeah, so, um, Jason admitted to stealing the popcorn, essentially, even though he, you know, he's saying, I didn't steal the little girl's popcorn. Um, and then, like, sh yeah, and then she's like, aha! Um, whatever I said. <laughs> uh, what was it? I don't remember the word, but I already said it anyway. So after, like, he admitted to stealing the popcorn. She was like, I'm going to send you both to the office or, like, the detention room. Yeah, it was the detention room. And then Jason's reply to that was, oh, I can't go there. And she was like, why? He's like, I can't. I'll get in trouble by my mom. I seriously can't go there, please. And then, like, you know, any teacher, like, you know, sane would be like, well, you should have thought about that before stealing a little girl's popcorn. But no, her response to that was, okay, you could stay out here. Chris, I'm sending you to detention. I didn't have anything to do with anything. I even said that. I was like, what? I didn't steal her popcorn either. He's like, yeah, you did. And then I got sent to detention. I had nothing to do. With, well, I mean, I, I guess I technically did have something to do. But I firsthand didn't have anything to deal with her popcorn getting stolen. And I was the one sent to the office. My friend got off scot-free even though he was the one who did everything. And his only excuse being, I can't because I'm going to get in trouble by my mom. It's like, seriously, that's the stupidest thing ever. And also the most hilarious thing ever. So, yeah, I got sent to the detention room. I was asked, why did I get sent to the detention room? And I remember my response to the teacher for the detention room being something like, uh, I don't remember, something like, um, I got in trouble because my friend stole popcorn. And then the teacher was like, wait, your friend stole popcorn and you didn't? I was like, no, I didn't steal popcorn. And she's like, uh, okay, are you sure you have to be here? I'm like, yes. And then, you know, like, if I was a smart and clever child, I wouldn't have actually gone there. But, I mean, I wasn't, I was a goody two-shoes child. And I did go there and told the truth as to why I was there. Because, you know, I'm very honorable like that. And then I spent, like, a lunch hour explaining to the other people there, like, pretty much, like, the other children asking, um, Hey, why are you in here for? You know, like, how people do that in jail. Or at least you see that on TV shows. I don't know if that happens in real life. It probably does, to be honest. What you in for? <laughs> but yeah. And so I confused children and made them like be like, Why the hell are you in here for? It makes no sense. Except without the word hell because, you know, most first graders didn't say the word hell because that's weird. Um, but yeah. So that's my story about how I got sent to the office for being completely innocent and my friend getting, or my friend getting off scot-free just because he said he can't get in trouble by his mom. 
And I don't even remember, I'm pretty sure, like, our parents never even got called. So it's like, he wouldn't have gotten in trouble anyways. Like, th that's so silly, isn't it? I'm liking how this is turning out, by the way. Which way spawn? I think it's this way, correct? It is indeed. I think it's right over that hill there. How are we looking here? Whoa! I don't, I don't know why Fraps legs... I, I... Fraps only legs on me... Um, when I'm recording, uh, I mean, Minecraft only legs on me when I'm recording, and I don't know why, it's really strange, I gotta figure that out, look at the, holy crap, every single log on that tree is on fire, that looks really cool, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that, burn baby, burn, I was gonna say, I should call my episode that, but no, I'm definitely calling it something about stealing popcorn episode, <laughs> clever name, I know, um, but yeah, so, that that's my story, um, for the first, well, this is this this is a different story right here. It is a pretty short one. For the first like three years of my elementary school life, I was one of the bad kids, as in I didn't care. I was really as bad as a first grader could be. I was doing cocaine every lunch. I'm just kidding. No, I would never do that as a first grader. That's for second grade kids. I'm just I'm just kidding again. There, I've never tried cocaine in my life. Okay. Nor do I plan to or will, unless I'm, like, you know, held at gunpoint and told to try cocaine. Like, one of my friends kind of was at one point. He got threatened to got beaten up if he didn't try cocaine. It's, so that that's that's a weird story. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for the first, like, kindergarten, grade one, grade two, I was kind of one of the evil kids that, like, loved causing trouble. And then grade three came along, and we got kind of an incentive to be good because every month... Um, the teacher would choose the best... What's what's these? Do these lead somewhere? Are these just... Oh, this looks like Judah did this. Alright, well... I'm assuming he did this to not get lost, but... Judah has been kind of MIA recently, and he has talked about not really having time for the server anymore. So, I, I'm sure he won't miss those few blocks of nether rack that I just broke. I hope not. <laughs> That'd be kind of a strange and obscure thing to miss. Um... But yeah, so I was a really bad kid for the first, like, kindergarten, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. We got the incentive to be good because every day, I mean, every month, we were awarded prizes. And for the first two months, I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I don't care about no freaking prizes. And then the smelly markers came along. Oh, the smelly markers. A kid's, every, like, third grader's dream to have smelly markers. Because markers were freaking cool and badass because they were smelly. And I remember for that entire month, every time, like, you know, we would get, we would sit down to hear a story from our teacher or something, I would sit, like, cross-legged still, never say a word to any of my friends, because, you know, we're not allowed to talk. And then I would also, like, sit up straight and everything, and pretty much be, like, one of those fancy, uh, goody-two-shoes children, just like I would markers. And, like, normally you would think, like, you know, that that wouldn't really do anything. But it kind of, it actually did. I actually won that month that I tried my hardest to be, like, an actual good kid. And I was so happy. Like, I remember my teacher, when she was about to announce who won the smelly markers, I was sitting as straight up as I could. I had my hands, like, um, cupped, or not really cupped, but, like, I had my fingers crossed into each other, you know? You know what I'm talking about when I say cross into each other? Like, I don't know, I don't know how to really explain that. Like, nah. anyways... And, like, I was, yeah, my teacher called out my name. She's, like, something like, and the winner of this month's niceness contest was, she said it a lot better than that. And then she's, like, she paused, and then she's, like, Chris! And then, like, I remember trying to act cool, but I think I said something like, yes! And I got really excited, and I jumped up and went and grabbed my markers. And then, from that point on, I tried to be, like, a really good kid, kind of. It kind of, like, faded over time, because, you know, I didn't really care. And I wasn't gonna win smelly markers anymore, so I was like, well, what's the point if I'm not gonna win smelly markers? <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, winning prizes shouldn't be an incentive to being a good child, but it was for me! And it totally worked, and that was actually, I gotta say, that was a pretty brilliant idea to make, like, you know, at least some children behave in class, because, hey, it worked on me. Um... But yeah, so I burnt down this field, and that's really going to be it for this episode. That was fun. <laughs> this entire episode was just me burning down a field of trees. Look, at it, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. Hmm, I definitely got to choose a spot towards the center of this landmass. 
for the Coliseum. I think it'll be around here somewhere. Let's do this. And then we'll do something like this. So I can perhaps find this location again. I have no idea if that's the actual, like, correct distance. But whatever, I could always just build up the land around it, to be honest. This field is actually not as big as I remember it being, so... I, I might not even use this for my call, so I'm just kidding! That'd be so mean of me to, like, burn down Mr. Green Hippo's farm, his, like, tree farm like this. And then not even use it for my Coliseum. By the way, I'm on with no one today. Yay! <laughs> no one's actually logged on the server. I've been on the server almost all day today. I'm also recording a new application video. Which, by the way, I should have probably mentioned this at the beginning of the video. By the time this is up, the new application video will be up. So if you've been wanting to, like, you know, if you were thinking about applying for an original craft, check out the new video. Um, some questions have changed. Some requirements have been adjusted. Um, and it's actually a lot better of a video. The first application video was just me walking around an empty server being like, Does anyone, anybody want to play with me? And this new server video is pretty much me showcasing everyone else's builds in creative mode. I totally cheated. I actually did. I went to creative mode to, um, fly around pretty much and showcase people's builds properly. Because walking around just wouldn't really do them justice, I guess. Although, I guess I could have made it work out, come to think of it. So maybe I shouldn't have gone into creative mode, but too late now. Um, check out that video, even if you're not interested in applying. It took about five hours to make, so yeah. <laughs> I put a lot of work into it and almost worked on it all day. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave likes for already. My name is Chris. Hopefully we'll see new members on the server soon. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.